mission to Maluka. On the outer fringe of our solar system a chain of lonely planetoids stretches across space. These are the perimeter planets, literally the outermost ones. Noted for their fierce inhabitants and barren terrain, these hundreds of tiny planets are guided by a handful of rocket ships and brave men of the perimeter patrol. On Rondo's, base of operations planetoid for the patrol, ship commander Martin Hawkins is being reprimanded by the commandant, Centurion Luther Minot. Your service record is above reproach, Hawkins. But I don't like you. You are aware of that. Yes, sir. You've been after me ever since I came here from Earth. But why? Let's be frank, Captain. I served under your father, Colonel Hawkins, in the Old Moon Squadron. Until he was killed by the Martians. He rode me unmercifully. I see. And you're taking it out on me. Draw your own conclusions, Captain. But keep this in mind. One slip anywhere along the line here, and you can expect the worst from me. Sorry you feel that way, Centurion. A pity such a great service like the Perimeter Patrol has to suffer from personal prejudice. That's enough, Hawkins. I will judge you, not you me. You have your orders for your next patrol. Dismissed. Very well, sir. A few moments later aboard his ship, Penumbra. Old Centurion Minute is really out to break me. Just to get revenge against father. I better watch my step. Space Lieutenant Grohl Minot reporting, sir. I've been assigned to your ship. So the Centurion is sending his kid along to keep an eye on me. Very well, Lieutenant, report to the bridge. Our patrol course will cover the planetoids Minos, Peiko and Gaikos. There is an experimental hydroponic station on Gaikos. We have to check and make sure the natives aren't giving our scientists there any trouble. That night, out in space. So this is your first patrol, eh, my not? You're lucky to be under Captain Hawkins. He's the best commander in the whole service. Yeah? Well I heard different. I think, I, gosh. I don't feel so hot. Oh, my head. It's buzzing. I feel so funny. Hey, what's the matter with you? I, I got to get out of here. I can't stand it. It's too small in here. Let me out. Grawl, take it easy. Jumping jets. He's gone nuts. Ark. Uh, kill. I'll kill you. Help. Help me. Hold on, sir. We're coming. Captain. I, I'm almost afraid to give you my diagnosis. He's been stricken with space sickness. There's nothing I can do. He's gone completely mad. You know what the rules are, Barker. If a man out on patrol is stricken with space sickness, he must be set adrift in a life rocket. To die alone out in the void. There are reasons for it. I sure don't envy Captain Hawkins right now. Grawl is my not's only son. How can I set him adrift? It would kill the old man to lose his son. If I turned around now, I could have him back at the hospital in a few hours. They might save him. Willis. Barker. Ready to turn about. Port rockets half blast. Starboards on idle. Signal the engine room to prepare for full thrust. We're breaking course men. We're heading back for rondos. Meanwhile on Geico's planetoid, on Hawkins' patrol route, a scientist at the hydroponic laboratory radios frantically across space. Hello Rondos. Hello Perimeter Patrol Station. This is the garrison on Geico's. The natives are rebelling. We need help. We need. Arg. But the only patrol vessel that could help is that moment blasting toward Rondos, away from Geico's. Hours later Hawkins stands stiffly before his centurion. 
Hawkins, if you had not broken course and returned to Wando's, the catastrophe on Geico's might have been avoided. You disobeyed orders. I know, sir. But I didn't know about the trouble on Geico's. And your son's life was at stake. You should have set him adrift. Those are regulations, my son or not. For disobeying orders you will get the severest punishment in my power. You will be exiled on Maluka, the deserted planetoid. Immediately. And Centurion my not dread orders are carried out. Soon Martin Hawkins is standing on the deserted planetoid Maluka. Left to die alone. But not quite alone. For a few miles away on the other side of Maluka. Your stupid friends in the perimeter patrol will never think of looking for us on this little dead planetoid. Here we can prepare unmolested. You will continue your experiments here. I want that plant fungus you have been perfecting. What possible use can the fungus be to you? Never mind earthling beast. Get to work. Meanwhile on Rondos, the perimeter patrol service is baffled. Where are the missing scientists? I want patrols to search all the inhabited planetoids. We must find the scientists and those Gakotians. Centurion, you are wanted at the base hospital at once. Yes, Centurion. I can say with certainty that your son will recover from the space sickness. He was brought to the hospital just in time. You may see him if you like, sir. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Father. I owe my life to Captain Hawkins. Will you tell him I want to talk to him? To thank him? Hawkins. I don't want to hear that name again. Forget about Captain Hawkins. Meanwhile on Maluka, the forgotten Captain Hawkins has discovered his neighbors on the tiny planetoid. What do you know, the Gaikosians and the scientists from the hydroponic laboratory? So this is where they disappeared. Yes, Eklak. Soon these earthlings will perfect the fungus. It grows all over anything it touches, imprisoning it instantly. We will force them to make fungus bombs for us. Yes, great one. Then we can fly to Rondos and bomb the spaceport there. The Earthling patrols will be helpless. With the fungus growing all over their airships, they will be powerless to stop us. We will quickly marshal our forces on the other planetoids and drive Earthmen from the perimeter. Faster you beasts. Work faster. By rights I should let the Centurion take the rap for this. He sent me out here to die. But, but I can't. I can't let my comrades be slaughtered. Holding his empty holster as a ray gun, Hawkins tries a bold bluff. All right, you monsters. One move and I blast. He lies. That is no ray pistol. Seize him, Iklak. The Earthman fights furiously, but there are too many. Meanwhile on Rondo several days later, Grohl Minot has been released from the hospital, fully recovered. His father had made him master of the Penumbra. You have your orders, Ship Commander Minot. Fly a routine patrol of the planet's era, Xena, and Bako. Prepare to board ship, and blast off. But Grohl has other ideas once out in space. I can't let Captain Hawkins die in exile. I owe him my life. I can at least take him to some inhabited planet where he can live in secrecy and peace. I'm changing orders. Steer a new course for the planetoid Maluka. But the Gaikotians have been using this time to good advantage. Ah, the fungus bombs and grenades are finished. Tonight we take off for Rondos and Victory. Master, come quick. A spaceship. A patrol ship is landing. They will not stop us. With these fungus grenades we will capture their ship. Then it will be even easier. We will bomb Rondos from one of the patrol zone vessels. Come.
All right, men, search for Captain Hawkins. Let's pray he hasn't died on this forsaken planetoid. Ha. The patrol ship is as good as captured. Stupid Earthlings. Ha. Ha. <laughs> the only thing that can stop that fungus is fire. But I have to set it ablaze right away or it's too late. No time to explain to them. Look, there he is. He, he's got a torch. What's wrong with him? Poor fellow, his mind must have snapped in this loneliness. You men, capture him with that net. Don't hurt him. The patrolmen snare Hawkins with the net, but with almost superhuman strength he tears free and flips his torch. There, I stuck it. Hey! By Eros there's fungus growing on the ship. Look, he's set it on fire. The Kaikotians, furious at this setback, attack in mass. Crawl. Watch out. Here they come. I see them. Battle stations. But the Kaikotians are no match for the well-trained patrol men. A pitched battle ensues. Arg. Thanks, Grawl. Good shot. My pleasure, Commander. Well, Grawl, there'll be medals of valor for you and the crew. I, I wish I could be there to see the ceremony. But I'm in exile, I can't go back, of course. Oh yes, you will, Captain. Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get you off Maluka. But now we're going back to Rondo's and I'll talk to that old ramrod of a father of mine. And get you reinstated. Soon back on Rondos. So Lieutenant Minot. After you deliberately broke orders and to abandon Planetoid to free an exile, you dare come to me and ask for Hawkins' pardon. On the contrary Hawkins. It is I who must beg your pardon. Your devotion to duty even after exile has shown me what a bitter, egotistical fool I've been. My sincerest apologies to you Captain Hawkins. In a few days the two heroes are ready for duty again. Captain Hawkins is fully reinstated as master of the Penumbra with Grolmine not his second in command. As they blast off for their perimeter patrol. I only wish old Colonel Hawkins were alive to see this. Our sons, Grol and Martin. Comrades. <laughs>